This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor, with the aft Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog program. If you've got a radio you want to uh, check out uh, the audio, give us a shout. We are recording from now until 5, and then we'll uh, post it up on YouTube in the next couple of days. And you can go there and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor. That will take you to our QSO VLOG page. And on that page, you'll find uh, one of the QSOs titled My Group Air Check 122818. My Group Air Check 122818. This is KC9VKV. Young, how you doing, Jim? K1GZO. Hi, Charlie. How's it going, sir? No, oh, it's going fine. It's, uh, we had a little bit of snow in the early morning hours, about an inch and a half, then a little sleet, and then a little freezing rain. And right now it's 33 degrees and spitting rain out of all wall thing. Uh, I talked to uh, Jim last night. I did talk to uh, Jim, WA3SEC, and uh, he was telling me about uh, what, uh, what uh, you are interested in. Uh, maybe sometime we could talk about that uh, on the phone. Uh, Jim is going to email you there, uh, Jim. Uh, go ahead. Oh, very good, very good, Charlie. Yeah, I think it might be uh, pretty interesting. You would uh, you would be the become the voice of radio, <laughs> Roger. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not the voice of radio, really. I'm just the voice of Clarksville, Northern New Hampshire. Uh, yeah, I've uh, I've got an interesting. Uh, uh, a good time to call me is in that noon hour between, say, 12 and 1.30. Uh, 12 and 1.30, we could uh, discuss this uh, a little bit uh, further. Uh, but uh, I've got an interesting story to tell you about Ed Watson, who was a sound effects man for the old radio days uh, when uh, east of the Mississippi they would do a uh, radio program. Then uh, a couple of hours later for the West Coast, uh, they would do it west of, of the Mississippi River, uh, Jim. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, Charlie. Well, it sounds, sounds interesting to me. Uh, uh, conditions are kind of uh, up and down, so uh, if you uh, come up on mic there and uh, we'll give her a shot. Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, maybe a little bit iced up here. The loading is not good at all. Uh, in fact, it was possible to start with, I still have the antenna problem. Okay, there was W6, uh, Mexico, Japan, W6NJ, his name was Ed Lucky, Ed Lucky, and he was from Baltimore, Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. He was a sound effects man out in uh, California. His home was Hollywood Hills. Hollywood Hills, and I used to work him quite often on 15 meters about uh, 15 years ago before he became a silent key. But what he was telling me uh, was that uh, uh, they would do these live radio programs uh, on the East Coast, on the East Coast, and he would be the sound effects man. He would be the sound effects man. Uh, and then uh, three hours later, they would do it again. They would have to repeat the whole program again for the West Coast. So that's a Please do not tune up on an active frequency. This is uh, in use. Until one night. Oh, boy. Now, he had to put out sound effects. There was a... In the uh, please don't tune up on an active frequency, sir. The right noise or the gunshots and all that. So that went okay on the east of the Mississippi uh, broadcast. Uh, but when it got around to west of the Mississippi, uh, his sound effects failed. His sound effects failed and the uh, gunshot did not go off. So at the end of that program is... Uh, uh, his boss uh, came over to him and said, You ruined me! You completely ruined me! And Ed so, so, so bad on his sound effects that, uh, uh, that he went off with his tail between his legs and probably had a dish of Mulligan's mouth. Right? <laughs> roger, Roger, man. Some days are like that, you know. You, you, you just as soon uh, not uh, get out of bed, Roger. 
Oh, yeah. That might have been, that might have been uh, the answer if he had. But I asked Ed, I asked him one more thing. I said, Ed, why? Why was the sound effect uh, of the movies we have on these westerns? The gunshots don't sound right. They don't sound right. Uh, you hear a or a gunshot instead of a pop, like you really would hear. And uh, also, like the sea battle, uh, you see the explosion all maybe two or three miles away and hear it at the same time. You don't. It takes five uh, seconds per mile. Uh, and he says, well, that's the aesthetics of it, Charlie. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think it would go over very good with the gunshots, especially uh, if, uh, if we just had pop noises. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, that's true. Uh, you know, the, you have to take certain liberties uh, when you're in the entertainment business, Roger. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You have to take uh, certain liberties. Uh, but, uh, but then again, that gets away a little bit from uh, the realism. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, that's true. Well, it, it's all in, in moving west, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because... Uh, once in a great while, you'll get a movie that sounds pretty accurate, pretty accurate, uh, but boy, oh, what went on in those days uh, was fascinating. Those, back in the days when TV uh, first got going, uh, there were so many mistakes uh, that went on that were, that they couldn't curtail it, uh, like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Henry Von Ost, uh, he, was, he played Henry Morgan. Uh, uh, the comedian, uh, the comedian, and Betty Furness, uh, and they were um, advertising a refrigerator company. It might have been uh, Kelvinator, I don't remember. Uh, but uh, uh, she, he was saying to Betty, well, uh, the simplicity of this, uh, uh, of the way it opens up, and then Betty grabbed uh, the handle of the refrigerator. Next thing you know, she was pulling out, pulling out, couldn't open the door, couldn't get it open at all. And he tried, he couldn't, uh, you know, oh, and he finally said, all oh, these damn things never work, and I knocked them off the air for you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's one of those times when you had uh, just as soon uh, not uh, said anything, Roger. Oh, yeah, yeah, but uh, I enjoyed, I enjoyed watching some of these programs to look for things like that. Uh, like, uh, I don't know if you remember uh, Captain Video and his Video Ranger. The Captain Video and his Video Ranger, that came out of uh, New York. I'm, I'm talking 1948, uh, 49, 50. And uh, uh, one, of their, uh, one, of, one of their skits did not work right. It, uh, he couldn't get it to work. Uh, the, uh, it, it did not work. Uh, then uh, Captain Video turned uh, towards toward the Video Ranger and said, Well, I guess it's probably our, our dipole. Hey, Roger, that. Well, Charlie, thank you so very much, sir. And uh, if, Do I have your number? I'm just thinking uh, uh, I'll give you a shout uh, between uh, 12 and 1.30. Is there a particular day that I should do that? And do I have your number? Okay, uh, if you got a pen uh, there, I'll give it to you uh, right now. No, any day at all. Any day at all at that time, go ahead. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Your conditions uh, don't look uh, particularly great today. I was just getting a, uh, an, uh, you were giving me an 8 dB over my noise level. Usually you're uh, 10 to 12, so uh, conditions aren't the best. But we shall press on, you know. Maybe we'll have uh, Mother Nature do a turnaround and give us 40 overs for everybody, including our 100 waters. Uh, threes, Charlie, and have a good afternoon. We'll see you uh, next Friday. Or, um, I'll give you that uh, phone call uh, when, when I can. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Dennis. Thank you so much. Roger, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor, and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program. We are air checking from now until 5. If uh, you have a radio you want to check out the audio, uh, give me a shout, and we'll uh, record it and then post it up on YouTube uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, this is KC9 VKV.